Ladies and gentlemen, this is another Arsenal news update. And we need to speak because it looks like Arsenal are having some difficulties looking at selling some of the senior players in the team. For example, Aaron Ramsdale, Arsenal want upwards of 35 million plus for Aaron Ramsdale. It looks like that's going to be difficult to get at this moment in time. Thomas Partey is another player Arsenal are looking to potentially sell, but rumor has it that Thomas Partey wants to stay. All this plus more. In addition to that, there's a link to a certain Everton player, Amadou Onana. Interesting, interesting, interesting developments. Plus, Arsenal are looking to tie down the future of our manager, our coach, Mikel Arteta. The man who's got this rebuild uh, up and running wants to finish the job. They might be, uh, they're currently in advanced talks to give them a new deal. All this plus more. Let me go get the links. Let me show you guys what we're talking about. Before we do that, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get the show started. Bang. Yes, 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 people, what's going on? So before we go any further, do me a favor, hit that like button right now. It's absolutely free. And let's get this show started because we got a lot to talk about, okay? First things first, let me begin with, hmm, where do I begin? Where should I begin? I think I'm going to begin with none other than Thomas Partey. The 30-year-old midfielder has been linked away from the club as of late, and rumor has it today, not coming from none other than the man himself, Charles Watts, that here we go. Let me show you guys the article. So Charles Watts has re one second. So Charles Watts has reported that the Thomas Partey's preference going into the summer is to stay at Arsenal Football Club. Okay. But like last summer, the club will listen to offers for the 30-year-old midfielder. It looks like we might not be looking to keep him for long term, but if we can't sell him, we're going to obviously then keep him. The the Thomas Partey is, is well liked by the club, but at this moment in time, because of his age and his injuries, in addition to the fact that he's one of the higher paid players in the team, it would might make sense if, if we were to get rid of him. Uh, it is unlikely that we're going to give him a new contract with 12 months remaining in his contract also. And Thomas Partey's preference is to stay at Arsenal. So yeah, Charles Watts making it clear that it's unlikely that Arsenal are going to give him a new contract and hence why one of the reasons why we might be moving away from Thomas Partey. Now there is there is um there is a big question. Is it is it a good idea to still keep Thomas Partey around? My that's my question to you guys. Because if Thomas Partey is sold, I get it we need to still bring in a, a quality midfielder, but even if he's here, I still think we need to go and bring in a quality midfielder. Uh to, to where he doesn't need to be a main man in this side. His earnings, his wages are quite high also. I think he makes 200000 a week. So one of the higher paid players at Arsenal, hence why it kind of makes sense that the club would want to move him away. But let me know in the comment sections, are you guys for or against the potential sale of Thomas Partey? In my opinion, I'm for it as long as we go and strengthen in the midfield and bring in a top, top midfielder that can, that can, give, us, that can give us similar output or maybe even more because he let's be honest last year he was an afterthought for majority of the season now that's enough about thomas Partey. i know that there's a lot of people happy some people are upset let me know how you feel if thomas Partey ends up staying would you be upset would you be happy do you want him to stay do you want him to leave let me know in the comments um as you can see here friend of the show belgium actually uh, went in on the arsenal fan saying uh frankly pathetic and pitiful from those ar ar armchair experts who want Thomas Partey to leave Arsenal at every transfer window be replaced by every player absolutely uh, who has absolutely no experience who had never won a league title before stop being jealous of uh, and niggy about niggling uh what about Thomas Partey ain't going nowhere We'll see. We'll see. Next, let's talk about Aaron Ramsdale. So the situation with Aaron Ramsdale is quite clear. Newcastle are interested in Aaron Ramsdale. They really wanted to get the deal over the line, but nothing is 
completed yet. Now, Newcastle look like they have shifted their aim from Aaron Ramsdale away now to James Trafford, the young up-and-coming goalkeeper that plays for Burnley. Apparently, Newcastle have priced him at 20 million, and they priced Ramsdale at around 25 to 30 tops. That's not what Arsenal wanted. Arsenal, of course, Arsenal, of course, uh, Newcastle were only willing to pay 23 million on the table for Aaron Ramsdale. Newcastle were pushing to sign Aaron Ramsdale uh, as their first move of, the, of a busy summer transfer window, but apparently Arsenal reportedly agreed uh, a move with Newcastle, but they they uh, but the price is where they've disagreed and where they've had issues. So Arsenal goalkeeper has reportedly agreed a move already with Newcastle, but nothing has been agreed with the club. Mikel Arteta has identified Aaron Ramsdale's potential replacement at the Emirates. Of course, that is uh, David Rea, and the backup could potentially be Firenode goalkeeper Justin Below. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen with that. But at this moment in time, Aaron Ramsdale does not have a new home yet. And this is the question that I leave to you guys. Big up Scott Willie for this. Um, what is Aaron Ramsdale's market value at this moment in time? Is thirty million pounds too much, too little, or just right? Because in my opinion, we should be able to garner at least thirty million for Aaron Ramsdale. We've completely dealt with this situation very wrong. We should have been able to at least garner. A reasonable fee for Aaron Ramsdale, but now he's just sitting on our bench, not uh, devaluing his his price tag on high wages compared to some of the other uh, goalkeepers available that teams can bring in. And with David Rea playing week in week out, playing better than him, we've literally made his market value. I would say we've knocked fifteen million off his market value. We probably should have sold him last summer. Genuinely, that I think is a big mistake by the club right there. Um, next, we got massive, 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 massive news, ladies and gentlemen, about Mikel Arteta and Arsenal are now in advance talks over a new long-term contract at the club. Sources have told Football London insiders that they have been negotiating with him. And if I'm not mistaken, I did read reports about this during the season, which I did a video on. Mikel Arteta will, is currently in advanced talks over a new deal. Hopefully this gets done. We want Mikel Arteta to stay at Arsenal. We want Mikel Arteta to get a new contract at Arsenal. We want Mikel Arteta to hopefully be successful at Arsenal because I think we have a top manager. We have stability at the club, unlike some of the other clubs. You look around, Tottenham changing managers all the time. Chelsea, Manchester United, Liverpool recently now changing managers with Klopp and even Pep leaving next summer. If we were to lose Arteta to a Manchester City, for example, or a Barcelona, and he started banging it in and we were we go back to irrelevance, I would be fuming. But of course, at this moment in time, we just need to tie him down just to secure our short term to immediate future as he does have one year remaining on his deal and his contract runs out next season. Personally, for me, I would give Mikel Arteta a new deal. Let me know if you would also give him a new deal in the comments. Let me know, guys. What would you guys do? Would you give Mikel Arteta a new deal or not? Let me know in the comments right now. And also, if you haven't already done so, please hit the like on the goddamn video. If you don't know, hitting the like button helps the channel out massively. It helps me It helps me grow. And of course, it helps more Arsenal fans find out about this wonderful channel where we tell you everything about Arsenal news. And we also talk about other things. For example, I'm going to be doing a video on Chelsea just in a few minutes from now. As, as I, have upload, I am uploading this at about 8.20. Uh, PM on Tuesday, but yeah, Mikel Arteta. You guys already know he's an Arsenal man. It, it the message to the fans: this is our, uh, this is our, uh, is our Arsenal. The man loves Arsenal, man. But yeah, that's enough about Arteta. Next, Amadou Onana, Everton's Amadou Onana. Reportedly, this man right here, purple panel is an independent journalist, independent journalist and uh, in the know. I will take this with a grain of salt, but apparently Arsenal are considering new options, uh, n uh, new options to sign Amadou Onana from Everton this summer, okay? The club were interested in signing him in January, but outgoing transfers Present, uh, presented some difficulties that prevented the move. Now, 
We could go back into uh, for Amadou Onana. We have to wait and see what happens. But I think I would take Amadou Onana. And if he was able to come into this team, I think he would, He him, Declan Rice, we're putting the clamps on everybody. Nobody's winning duels in that midfield. Odegaard's going to be the source of creativity. Amadou Onana and Declan Rice are going to do their job. It's going to be lit. It's going to be fire, genuinely. I think this I think this would be a good move for Arsenal. I just need to know how much. If they're talking 80, 70, 90 mil for Amadou Onana, nah, we gotta keep it, we gotta keep it pushing. But if but if it's reasonable, hmm, maybe we look into it. He is still quite young. We could have signed him from Lille ourselves before Everton signed him. Uh, we were linked to him, but once again, similar to the situation with um Bruno Gamarj, we missed a trick there. He's still 22 years old. Damn, this guy's young. This guy's young. Premier League proven, 22 years old, box to box defensive, uh, box to box slash defensive midfielder. He, he Belgian international. If if we were able to get him, I think he would he would be a good signing. I know Bayern Munich and PSG are also interested in him, and reportedly 50 million. I think that would be a good deal. If you can get him for 50 million, I think that would be a good deal. But yeah, that's enough for today. Let me know what you guys think about the news. Of course, Mikel Arteta, I would give him a new deal. Would you? Amadou Anana, would you take him at Arsenal? Thomas Partey, would you keep him or would you sell him? And Ramsdale, is he worth £30 million? Let me know in the comment section. I'm out of here, people. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.